All right, today is a little video on a water cooling, uh, water temperature gauge I put in. I put in a digital water cooling gauge. Got this one off eBay for about 25 bucks, and including, includes the housing. So not bad. Um, as some people might know, uh, one of the downfalls of the Discovery is this gauge, the, the factory water temperature gauge, is really not accurate enough. And the internal settings cannot be changed. But um, by the time it gets into the red, essentially your engine has already been overheating for much too long. And you've probably done some major damage to the engine by the time it actually gets up to the red. So by the time you see it, even if you turned off the engine once it gets up to the red, it's already been uh, too hot for the engine. So um, this one will actually give you the uh, reading. It's blinking because of the uh, video, but it actually doesn't blink in real life. Um, so it's pretty easy to install. Um, it's got three cords coming out of it. Um, one cord needs power. So I uh, took out the center console and um, the lighter, it's uh, there's a green and white wire that's going to the cigarette lighter. I spliced into that and soldered it. Um, so that's way it gets power, but it's only getting power when the keys in the ignition and on. So you, it's not going to run down the battery. Uh, the second wire is a um, grounding wire. And right underneath this kick panel is a nice uh, grounding point. So that's easy. And then the third wire is a uh, the communication wire to the uh, temperature sensor. And I'll show you that in a second. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a nice grommet just above the uh, brake pedal. That was very easy. You just undo that grommet. I poked a hole in it, put the wire through it and um, got the wire to the engine bay. So let's look at the engine bay and I'll show you what I did. So out of the engine bay is that green wire. I've got it protected, comes all the way around here, comes over here, this side, and that's where I have this piece. And so that's got the uh, coolant and this is your temperature so that's the green uh, wire goes to here and then if it's a digital gauge you need to ground so this piece has a uh, screw where I've got a black wire I just put it in the same protection and then there's a nice grounding point right back here for the ground so it's pretty easy it's a very easy install this part cost me about six bucks or so Oh, actually about 12 bucks and the other part cost me about 25 bucks 26 bucks so I uh, used 18 gauge wire and that's about it so it's uh, not a bad install um, it's a little pain to you know take this this hose off but uh, not that bad um, interesting thing is the gauge only reads 104 degrees doesn't go below that so when you first turn on the car it's always at 104 until the uh, until the engine heats up and then the warning light actually comes on at 212 you can't program that warning light when it comes on but it comes on at 212 uh, which is actually perfect I'd like for it to come on 212 and compared to my uh, ODB 2 scanner um, using the Bluetooth um, it's about two degrees lower than the water pump sensor that's that's going to the computer. Um, so it's about two degrees lower, so it's, it's pretty close. So that, I don't think that's an issue. Um, the weird thing was there's no instructions. It's kind of one of these things that came from China. No instructions on the 104 degrees or the 212. But in the product description on Amazon actually listed that. The product description on eBay does not list that. 